Hello guys and welcome to Let's Be Mer. Today I'm going to be talking about a car which is usually on my channel and that car is the F20 F21 BMW 1 Series. The F20 F21 1 Series, collectively known as the F20, is actually the second generation 1 Series. The first 1 Series hatchbacks were the E81 and the E87. The F20 was the five-door hatchback and the F21 was the three-door hatchback. If you're new to my channel, I have done plenty of DIY videos for the F20-116i with the N13 engine. Just look down below and I'll leave you a link in the description box and that will give my playlist from like DIY videos to information videos. The original one series did come in a coupe and convertible as well, but they didn't do it with the second generation as they changed the nameplate over to the 2 Series. So the person who designed the second generation 1 Series was called Nicholas Hewitt. He also designed the F06 6 Series Grand Coupe, the F32 4 Series Coupe and the Zagato Coupe which you will see on the screen. Not only that, he also designed the livery on the, some of the BMW Formula 1 cars. This generation 1 series was built in many places, for example Germany, Brazil, Thailand, India and Malaysia. So, as you can see, all over the world. So, in 2011, at the Frankfurt Motor Show, BMW released on display the BMW F20 5-door hatchback. And to be honest, I wasn't um, like wow when I saw it, I was thinking like that <laughs> but as it's growing older I really appreciate the design and it's true when cars first come out you're a bit like it, it takes time to absorb the um, the style and when you get used to it it's lovely especially in the M Sport I like the M Sport so when the F20 was actually released in 2011 it first came out as a 116i a 118i a 116D, a 118D and a 120D I believe. So a few months later the 120i and the 125i petrol engines came out along with the 116D Efficient Dynamics Edition and the 125D. Then finally BMW bought out the bottom of the range which is the 114i with the N13 engine and also the top of the range M135 which is the one I would love to have. That was kind of like mid-2012-ish. In 2015, the F20 and F21 1 Series had a facelift. And in some ways it was nicer, in other ways, it, in my opinion, it wasn't as nice. I loved the front, but not so much the rear. I did make a video on um, what they did on the exterior of the facelift. So if you want to see that video, I shall leave it down below. So in 2015, apparently they dropped the 114i, which is the N13 engine. The 116i and the 118i um, changed their engines from the N13 um, four pots to the B38 three pots, three cylinder engines. The N13 that was used in the 120i was changed for the B48, and the B48 also replaced the engine that was in the 125i, which is known as the N20. Sorry, I have a massive headache, and my brain with codes speaking on camera doesn't always work. So I apologise if there are slight mistakes, and if there are any mistakes, I shall put the correct information over the top in words. Okay. So in 2015, the M135 had its power increased on the N55 lump. It went from 315 horsepower up to 322 horsepower. In 2016, the M135 was dropped for the M140, and it had a new engine called the B58, and that had 335 horsepower out of the box. When it came to the diesel engines, the N47 engine was dropped for the B37 and the B47 engines. The F21 1 Series was first seen by the public in 2012. It was first seen at the Automobile International in Leipzig, however you say that. It's a place in Germany. 
I shall put the word on the screen now. Um, since it was released um, when the 114 and that all came out, basically the F21 had all the engines already made for it in place. Remember, if you want to see any F20, F21 videos, I have a playlist down below. So when it came to transmissions, there were a few available. There was the 8-speed automatic, which is known as the ZF8 HP, a great gearbox which I love. And also, there were two variants of the 6-speed manual transmission. The normal ones got the Gautrea, I think that's how you pronounce it, because I remember on chips a long time ago, there was a sergeant called Gautrea. And that's why I call it Gautrea. Maybe it's called Gautrea. So the normal F20s got a GS617, while the sportier M135 and the M140 got the GS645BZ gearbox, which is also a great gearbox. When it comes to trim levels, there were a few available, depending on where you are in the world. There was the ES, which was at the bottom of the range, the SC, the um, Sport, the Efficient Dynamics Edition, the M Sport, the M Sport Black Shadow Edition, and also they made ones like the um, the Urban and the Olympic special for like the Olympic Games. What made the F20 so special was it was rear wheel drive, um, straight out the box. But you could get an X drive one too. It's the same with the original um, one series that was also rear wheel drive. But in 2019, BMW decided to go front wheel drive with the added option of having X drive, unlike on the M135. I've never driven one, so I can't say if it's good or bad. But I know um, deep down that I'm a rear-wheel drive man. But saying that, I did quite enjoy driving Volkswagen Golf Mark um, 6s and Mark 7s. And yeah. So, if you like this video, please comment down below. If you want to see more videos like this, also comment down below. And if you want to see something else totally different, just, you, know, you know what to do. Just comment down below. Thank you so much and take care. Goodbye.